Hey guys, welcome to a special video on Supercars of London. It wasn't long ago that I parked my um, gold and red Audi R8 behind me and we started the discussion on what I should wrap my car next. A month on um, and through uh, this weekend, Kit Customs have been working solidly and I mean 24 hour weekend working to get my car um, wrapped and it is looking absolutely fantastic. If you've watched the video that I uploaded at 10 a.m. this morning, then you would have seen some uh, little bits of blue going on. It wasn't a secret that the car was going baby blue, um, but today I've really tried to hold back from launching it so that I could launch it at 7 p.m. tonight, which I'm really, really excited about. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around so you guys get to see it, because it's right there, and um, it looks absolutely stunning. In the natural light, um, it's faultless. Looks absolutely unbelievable. You ready? Let's go. Boom. There it is. The new supercars of London, Audi R8. So I've brought the car back to uh, where I do quite a lot of my vlogs because it's so quiet, there's no cars parked around here and um, it looks absolutely um, unbelievable. We finished at around two o'clock in the morning, Monday morning, Sunday evening, two o'clock um, and I drove home and obviously it was dark so I was unable to see it in the natural light and it was so exciting waking up in the morning to see what it looks like in the daytime. We've got the black badges and we've gone for the Riviera Blue uh, with satin black details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you around some of the details that we've done on the car, why we've done them, and um, also talk about the comparison between this and the Ironman Audi R8. So let's go. Let's start and talk about some of the details that Kit Customs were able to do with the Riviera Blue, the satin black and the gloss black. And we'll start with the front of the car. It looks a lot more aggressive now than it did when it was uh, Team Ironman. And that's because we've um, taken in the, the uh, left and right scoops in satin black giving it that sort of v10 look i was tempted to do that with the iron man uh, wrap but i thought that when it was going red and gold um, and putting a little bit of black in the front it probably wouldn't have looked as good so when we went baby blue um, we did that to begin with the roof has gone satin black the carbon side blades remain carbon and the spoiler has gone satin black as well. And the reason that we went for this instead of the black camo, we actually ordered the black camo, but if you've seen the video from 10 o'clock this morning, um, you would also have seen that the black camo wasn't what we were expecting it to be. It wasn't very good. It was quite repetitive um, as a pattern and it didn't look very good on the car. So we went for satin black instead and left the carbon side blades carbon because they are such an expensive optional extra from Audi. The spoiler has gone satin black, which really, really goes well with the satin black front grille and also the uh, roof of the car. Whilst I'm talking about the new wrap, I thought I'd give you a uh, point of view on what I see when I'm driving the car. Before, when it was red and gold, I had uh, red and gold on the wing mirrors. And then in the um, rear view, you also got to see um, more red than you did gold. And across the front, um, you got a similar look of, um, it was quite a dull red and it, that was the idea. It wasn't supposed to be a vibrant red like my t-shirt. It was supposed to match the Iron Man um, colors. So just let's have a look at what I get to see. So. This is just um, me in the driver's seat. And if I zoom in, that is all of the blue that I get to see. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and drive using my uh, fancy little sticky mat, drive with you um, in the well, you on the dashboard, and I'm going to drive to some sunlight so you guys get to see what it's like in the full sun and to show um, how bright this car is. This will do. Lots and lots of sunlight. How you come with me. On the back of the car, you can see that we've split it with a bit of satin black across the uh, back of the car, um, which I don't think has been done before. If it has, I apologize and uh, definitely send me a photo on Twitter or Instagram because I'd really like to see it. 
Um, and we did this, Kit Customs came up with this uh, blue, black, blue sort of um, swoop. It's not quite the V10 rear, um, but I really like it and I think it accentu accentuates the rear and almost gives it a facelift, um, which is a lot cheaper than actually facelifting the rear lights and the front lights, which is I think about four or five grand. Um, and then as we come around here, the fuel cap um, has gone satin black with blue ring. Um, and overall the car just looks absolutely stunning in the sunlight so I'm just going to walk around now for you guys to see um, and hopefully you like it we've gone with the black badges um, the R8 in black is going to be coming back I'm really looking forward to getting that detail on and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy because I am absolutely in love a question that I got asked quite a lot on um, my Instagram post and Twitter was where, whether I'm going to be putting any stickers on this car. The whole idea with having stickers on the Iron Man car was it was to replicate the Gumball 3000 car and it also looked a bit like a race car with all of the sponsors on it. This car is not going to have um, as many, if not any, stickers on the car. At the moment, it looks fantastic, and I do not uh, want to ruin the look with any stickers at all. Um, but over the sort of the next uh, two, three, four, five, six months, however, I lo however long I want to keep the car, I may put my Twitter name um, up there and a bit of YouTube advertisement to just give that Supercars of London the extra boost. Um, if you don't want stickers on it, then please share this video and get the Supercars of London subscribers up past a hundred thousand before the new year which would be absolutely fantastic and I do think that the look of this car is going to help me get to a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube a hundred thousand followers on Instagram and everything so um, it'll be really fantastic if you could help push out the new look so I'm going to finish this video with um, just a few walk around clips of the car so you get to see it in uh, more detail um, and um, if you've got any questions please comment below um, uh, hopefully I've answered as many as possible to do with the stickers whether it's better than Team Iron Man why I've gone for the satin black instead of the black camo and all of that sort of stuff so please subscribe share like comment and I look forward to seeing you very very soon I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, you can fall in love with my car uh, like I have in the last uh, 24 to 48 hours. Cheers guys and uh, take care.